yo what's up everybody welcome back to the club in a new video and yeah the uh, blitz auction third week and the last week started today and i just want to make this video so short as possible and talk really about the tanks which are really worth it and still in the store because if you take a look the VK9001, the German tier 10 collector heavy tank is already gone, okay, is already sold out and no wonder because that tank is really OP. So let's talk about the tanks who are really strong or OP and worth it to go for, okay. So the Krupp Steyr Waffentrager, the tier 7 um, premium, uh, uh, sorry, German tank destroyer is really worth it but only for skilled tank destroyer players okay this tank is insane it got the turret we can rotate the turret but it has no armor but for that we got a high dpm a great mobility great gun so uh, the Krupp Steyr Waffentrager is really worth it but this tank is not beginner friendly and then we got the Lycan the Lycan is insane great armor uh, insane gun but the gun dispersion is not the best but it's really uh, beginner friendly uh, a robust solid tank heavy tank uh, tier 7 it's just insane and beginner friendly in my opinion it's OP especially the, the crew of this tank cannot be endured uh, the, we have special abilities on, on this vehicle and it's just beginner friendly so in my opinion this tank let's say is not OP but it's very strong and especially beginner friendly the Kampfpanzer 70, also worth it, but it's not for um, beginner players. It's a heavy tank with uh, insane mobility, with a great gun, high alpha damage, but we don't have that great armor. We have only the turret, only the front turret. The rest is easy to penetrate from everywhere. Um, yeah, this tank needs just skills. So if you are a skilled heavium, a tank player and you like uh, yeah a derp gun with a lot of damage go for it it's worth it yes but only for uh, let's say skilled players it's not definitely not uh, beginner friendly the titan hnd just pass i have this tank i don't know why this tank a lot of tanks are already sold out or sold uh, a lot of players bought this tank because maybe because of that dynamic armor but i have this tank i know it it's not worth it the Projector 46, of course, one of the best uh, also offers uh, right here. Uh, the Projector 46, yeah, for uh, medium players, medium lovers, also skilled players. Uh, this tank got even some turrets on it. You can play it somehow, hull down, some shots will bounce. Uh, yeah, the Projector 46, no doubt, definitely worth it. But a lot of players got this tank for free in the last event. Maybe that's why it's um, there's still a lot of vehicles left. But you don't, if you don't have this tank and you need a strong OP tier 8 medium tank, go for the Projector 46. The AMX CDA 105. And if you ask me, I like to play with the Scorpion, the German one, uh, the German tank destroyer, or with the SU 130PM. They don't have armor those tanks the scorpion and the su 130 pm are not beginner friendly but this in this case the amx cda uh, the, we got some front armor on it we have insane precision high dpm insane speed we can play aggressive with it so uh, yeah for for tank destroyer players uh, this tank is really worth it and it's also somehow beginner friendly because we have some front armor on it but for me as i told you as a skilled player I prefer to play with a Scorpion G or with the SU-130 PM. The Titan 45D just skip. The Centurion MK-51, really an insane medium tank, for example, for players who don't want to play with um, auto loader or auto reloader medium tanks. The Centurion MK-51 RAAC is a good option for one-shot tanks with a short reload time with a good damage insane mobility also a good turret we can play hull down with this vehicle so the centurion is also worth it and it's really a very strong tank 
the Emil 1951. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, why should I go for this tank if, if we have the Emil 1? It's a copy paste, actually. Um, yeah, in my opinion, it's not OP, so just pass. The Skoda T27. Actually, it's a strong tank with no armor, no turret, and, and no and no hull. So everywhere, no armor. Um, 15 seconds reload time with three shells in the magazines. A high intra clip reload time, only 1.5 seconds. It's actually a strong tank, really. But uh, why should we go for this tank if we have the Progetto 46, which is, in my opinion, just uh, one of the best uh, tier 8 medium tanks in the game? Um, this tank is a no to loader, the Progetto 46 is a no to reloader, okay? So, um, yeah, in my opinion, it's a strong tank, but uh, the Progetto 46 is more worth it to go for. The 121B is um, also an insane tank. Um, let's have a look at uh, the armor profile of this vehicle, but first, I'm gonna also talk at the same time before we go to the armor inspector. The STG is not worth it. The T44 4485 is really worth it to go for as a tier 7 medium tank with a high TPM, but also at the same time, we're going to see right now um, with uh, we can play with this vehicle even hull down. The same for the 100, 121B. It, it doesn't have the highest TPM for a tier 10. Um, medium tank premium medium tank in the game we got of course uh, the pants uh, the kampf panzer 50t um we got also uh, tell me the t22 medium of course the t62a but this tank still if you don't have any if you for example you, did, you didn't get the t22 medium um the 121b is also a good option to go for it's a solid tank really worth it definitely worth it um like the t4485 and now let's go and show you the armor profile of the t4485 you're gonna be surprised guys so this is the t4485 um, against the is3 a tier 8 heavy tank guys okay using even apc air shells if you go hold down look at this we got really a nice um Turret, we can play hull down with this vehicle and it will make for you really a big advantage okay so right now the is3 a tier 8 heavy tank is aiming on us with apc air shells and calibrated shells if you are playing against the tier 6 tanks the kb i don't know kb 1s for example it, it will be always the turret will be always red with that flat cupola which make it really very hard to aim on it uh, so it's a great hull down vehicle with a high TPM with 2.5 TPM, good mobility, uh, good gun. Um, also, um, yeah, we got also a good gun flexibility. So it's really worth it if you want to have a strong, even I would say, um, yeah, it's go direction OP tier 7 medium tank. And now let's talk, talk about the 121B, the Chinese tier 10 medium tank. Yeah, we got also, uh, wait for it guys, we have first to change, let's take the IS-7 for example. Uh, yeah, so also a great hull down vehicle. Here in this case, the IS-7 is aiming on us with, um, yeah, calibrated shells and premium shells. And we still have nearly everywhere a good turrets. We have of course weak spot, but let's, if for example, the enemy is only using normal shells, not premium shells, we have really a strong, a strong turret, and that allow us to play sneaky style, to play uh, hull down, and uh, yeah, a lot of shots will also bounce with this vehicle. Um, we have, we still have high TPM. I think, if I'm not mistaken, 3.5 TPM. That's also insane. Great gun. Um, if you use calibrated shells, also great um, penetration. So that's just really insane. Yeah, and um, that was my opinion about the tanks in uh, in the auction this week. So to recuperate, to resume very fast, um, yeah, which really worth it to go for. Uh, as I told you already, uh, the Waffen-Trueger, Krupp-style Waffen-Trueger, worth it for skilled um, tier 7, t 
TD players or in general for a TD skill TD players because we have no armor of this vehicle but for that high GPM, good mobility, great gun. The Lycan beginner friendly, uh, strong tank, tier 7 heavy tank, worth it, definitely worth it to go for. The Kampfpanzer 70, a strong tank but not for beginner players. For skilled players who know how to play with heavium tanks with a derp gun, also worth it. The Titan HND just skip. The Projector 46 definitely worth it. OP tank, medium tank. Um, the AMX CDA, a beginner friendly tier 8 tank destroyer, also worth it. The Titan 45D just skip. The Centurion MK51 RAAC, a great hull down vehicle. Um, and for players um, who like to play with the one shot medium tank snot with three shells in the magazine and no auto reloader or auto loader, this tank is also worth it. Um, great mobility and great turret. We can play it hull down, as I told you, with a fast shooting gun, so also worth it. The Emil 1951, just keep it, guys, pass it. We have the Emil 1 in the game uh, for free, so why? Uh, go for the Emil 1951. The score the T27 actually a strong tank, but in my opinion, why should we go for the T27 if we have the Progetto 46, which is much more better? The 121B also insane, a very strong, something between a very strong 2 OP tier, tier 10 medium tank. So if you don't have um, the T22 medium or the Kampfpanzer 50T or um, I don't know, this tank is really definitely very strong, really, and uh, it's worth it, but as I told you, it's not the best, but um, it doesn't mean that this tank is bad, okay, so, I mean, a difference of something about 200 of TPM, because we have the Kampfpanzer 50T with 3.7 TPM, and in this tank we have only 3.5, if I'm not mistaken, so this tank still belongs to the best tier 10 medium tank of the game i showed you the armor profile it's also insane and uh, yeah the stg just skip it and the t44 85 it's really also um a strong or op even tier 7 medium tank um, we can play it high down we i showed you the turret it's really insane and uh, yeah, with 2.5 dpm, great mobility and uh, great rotation. Um, yeah, the T4485 also belongs to the one of the best tier 7 medium tanks in the game. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will do another video just playing very fast with those tanks, which are worth it um, to see some gameplay. And uh, yeah, just hurry up if you want to get um, the Stier of Waffentrager uh, because um, I think it's going to be sold out very fast. So the Krupp Stier of Waffentrager, we got only 2,600 vehicles left and the Lycan 2, I think that those tanks are going to be sold out very fast. So hurry up and get them if you want to get one of those tanks. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it and see you soon in the next one, bye bye. <laughs>